Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your reading for what message is meant to find you right now. Remember that this reading does not necessarily have any specific date on it. Whenever this message finds you, and whenever you find this message, then this reading will be for you at this given time. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drumroll. You have here the high priestess, so use your intuition, okay? This is all going to be used to your advantage. This is telling you don't shut off your intuition and just use your mind, okay? Right now, this is all about your intuitive nudges, your intuitive hits. You're getting a lot of clarity based on you using your intuition. I'm also getting that there's still something that has not yet been exposed to the light. There's some hidden information, okay? That's why you have to use your intuition because your intuition will guide you towards whatever information you need to know, okay, to make those changes in your life. Now, we're gonna put this one to the side, okay? And we're gonna grab another energy from this deck. And this deck is basically going to give us a little bit of an overview of the energy that is surrounding this reading okay so what is the energy surrounding this reading all right you have here gratitude number 20 okay so here with the number 20 and gratitude this is all about you giving thanks okay wake up in the morning and you give thanks for a brand new life because you're able to open up your your eyes okay you're open you're, you're open to new experiences basically a brand new day is a brand new experience that you have the potential to have so this is all about your gratitude okay now let's go ahead and see this other this other side of the spread. Okay, so the 10 of cups you have here, the queen of pentacles above. You also have here the five of pentacles, the ace of swords, the king of cups reverse. You have here the eight of pentacles, the page of cups, the nine of wands, the queen of cups, the knight of cups. And at the bottom of the deck, you have here the ace of wands, okay? So here with the ace of wands, like I told you, a brand new beginning, a brand new start. Start saying thank you right now. A lot of times people say, well, why would I say thank you before I have what I want? Because you're getting the energy flowing in that positive direction, right? Thank you because I have my new car, even though you don't have it. Thank you because I have my new relationship, even though you don't yet have it. Start saying thank you right now. It's all connected to gratitude because new beginnings are starting to happen for you. This is a brand new opening. It's going to be a brand new kind of um, even awareness. Okay, You're going to start becoming more aware that there is something brand new that is opening up for you, for your benefit. Okay. I also see a lot of passion coming your way. It could also be sex. Okay, If you haven't had sex in a while, maybe you're going to start having you know a sexual relationship with somebody. That's just for some of you guys. Okay. I'm not embarrassed to talk about that because this is what this means for me sometimes. And now this also represents for you, you are a very sexual, sensual sign. Okay. And so this should not be a problem for you, but I am also picking up on the fact that somebody here is very attracted to you in that way, or at least it's going to start off in that way. It's going to just be like, wow, it's just a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry. There's a lot happening in this situation, in this connection, whatever this is. Now with the 10 of cups, that's not to say that this is not leading to commitment because guess what? I see commitment here. I see emotions also. A lot of times people say, well, you know, you should wait, especially they tell that to women. Okay. Women should wait a certain amount of days before or entering into intercourse with a man or you know even if you're male and male or female and female you know based on the connection they say well you should wait you should wait look it it all comes to it, it all comes down to if there is a real genuine connection it does not matter how long you wait it does not matter if you wait a year what if you wait a year right and then you finally go there and then nothing happens I mean, you know, it could be one or the other, but this particular connection is leading to something more substantial with substance. This is creating some kind of deeper bond between two people, okay, between you and a situation. This is the home environment. This is basically family, you know, together with friends. This is all about coming together as one and emotions being involved, okay? So even though there's a lot of passion, there's also a lot of emotion. Now, I also see here the Queen of Pentacles is in your challenge position in reverse. So here with the Queen of Pentacles reverse in your challenge positions, 
I'm sensing that you don't feel stable in some kind of area of your life. There's some kind of sense of instability, whether it's sexually, okay, because we do see that, or it could also be financially for some. Maybe you don't feel financially stable to carry on with a situation with a home, with a family, that sort of thing. It could also be for others that there is a particular individual here who is only focused on money, 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 what I want physically. I want a car. I want a house. I want this. I want that. I want gifts. They're very superficial in that way. They're only focused on money. Okay. Money matters. Uh, that sort of thing. We're going to figure out what this is in just a moment, but I do also see here the five of pentacles. So somebody here is afraid to be left out in the cold or you feel ignored. You feel neglected. You feel like something or someone is pushing you to the side. Okay. There's something here that has to do with childhood wounds, childhood issues. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm getting very strongly. I'm picking up on this energy for you where there is a person or a situation that you are currently involved in that is triggering that part of you that has gone unhealed. Meaning when you are connected to people who ignore you, who belittle you, who make you feel less than, you are actually asking for healing from them through them. Okay. They are not the savior. You are the, your own savior. They are just triggering, they're pushing that button within you that makes you say, oh, wait a minute, I feel ignored. Why do I feel ignored? It's not why you are ignoring me. It's why do I feel ignored by what you are doing or not doing, right? So there's something here that you need to investigate within yourself, go into your intuition and say, okay, what is it about this situation, about this person that is making me feel less than? It's making me feel ignored, neglected, or fearful to be left out in the cold, right? There is something there that this person is teaching you by doing this. Okay. It seems on the super, on the, on the superficially that they are doing this to you, but they're actually not. Okay. Now here with the ace of swords, this is the root of the issue, which is directly connected to your challenge. Okay. The challenge is there's somebody here who's only focused on money, 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 or superficial things. They're not really concerned with the essence of the situation, the connection, right? The love. Okay. They're more so concerned about their own needs being met. They're not really nurturing. They're not really all there for you when maybe they say they are, whether this is you towards somebody, somebody towards you. But here with this ace of swords, this is happening because the root of the issue is that there is a lack of clarity. There is a lack of communication, whether you haven't communicated what you want, what you need, what you feel, or this person is not communicating to you their truth. There is some kind of truth that is being hidden. Like I said, that's why your dominant energy here is this one, the high priestess, you need to use your intuition in order to find out, figure out what truth, what the truth really is, because some kind of truth is being hidden and it needs to be exposed. There's something here having to do with communication. Okay. That is not happening right now. There's either a lack of communication or it could also be the fact that there is some kind of resistance to do that. Here with the King of Cups reverse, this is your recent past with the King of Cups reverse, something here or someone here was very emotionally manipulative, okay? There was some kind of emotional manipulation that was happening, very aggressive, harsh words maybe that were exchanged, that were used, but this is a person here who is also shut off emotionally, a person here who is not ready to express their emotions. It could also be emotional, uh, uh, emotionally unavailable. Now I also see here coming towards you in your opportunity. You will have the opportunity here with the eight of pentacles to start. It's almost as if you're taking away the energy that you've been giving to something negative and you're starting to put that into yourself. Okay. This is stop putting in the work and the effort into something that is no longer working so that this beautiful 10 of cups happens. I do sense strongly that right now your opportunity in order to, this could be an opportunity for you to take a break, take a break from a connection, take a break from the world, take a break from life. But there's something here having to do with, I'll give you an example. 
let's say for instance, uh, you're at a job, right? And, um, you have a new boss that comes in and you're like, regret, you're like regretting it. You know, the fact that maybe you changed jobs in the past, you're like, I should have stayed at that one. Why am I at this one now? You know, this new boss is like, you know, terrible, or at least you think he will be. And so then you realize that this new boss is actually better for you, right? The fact that they're having you not work as many hours, but you're still getting paid the same, that sort of thing, right? So it's like, you're doing less, but you're getting more. Okay. I'm getting that kind of sense doing less, but getting more. Now here at the page of cups, it's in your subconsciousness. You really want somebody to come and communicate or to make an offer to you. You really desire somebody here to, you know, maybe have romantic feelings for you, or this is you could be you towards that. Maybe you have romantic feelings towards somebody and you're still in a situation because you have romantic feelings to that person. Maybe you have a crush there. You know, it's kind of like, let's say for example, I used to go to a restaurant. Um, what I didn't even like this restaurant, but there was somebody there that I had a crush on. This was very long ago. And so even though I didn't like the food really, it was okay, you know, but it wasn't my favorite. I would go there because I would see that person, right? I would see that person and we had that chemistry going. And so I kept doing that, right? So it's something that you're doing here because you like what's there on, on a superficial level. This is a page. It's not like very deep, but it's something superficial, something more playful. Now there's something here that you are giving your attention to to because you kind of like, you know, how it feels, but is it for long-term, right? Because what you want here is something long-term, you know, that's why I'm saying it. Otherwise, I mean, it's all good if you just want to have that fun during that moment. But if you want something long-term, then I would advise you, you know, for example, don't go to that restaurant. You know, if you know that you don't want to end up marrying that person, if you know that it's just flirtatious energy, it's just that kind of, you know, energy that I'm picking up on. Now here with the nine of wands reverse, I'm getting very strongly that somebody here sees you as already kind of, you know, moving on. Okay. With the nine of wands reverse, it's almost as if you were covering yourself. You were being cautious. You were being careful, but now this person sees you as taking a leap of faith as creating changes in your life. They kind of see you from far away and there's like, oh my God, how is doing whatever it is that they're doing, right? How does it do it? It's like they're asking themselves because it's almost as if they see you as resilient. And I feel like that resiliency is coming from a place of gratitude because you're so grateful with what you do have you're able to more easily create these positive changes. And this person is seeing you as kind of like, oh wow, a leader, that sort of thing. Now you also have here the queen of cups in your action advice. So in your action advice, I do sense that this is about you getting in tune in touch in sync with your intuition, expanding your heart chakra, opening up your heart chakra. When it comes to anything, when it comes to you wanting to manifest love, money, career, you know, family, whatever it is that, that you want. Okay. This is all about you being vulnerable with yourself so that you're able to be yourself with other people. I know that you don't really like to be vulnerable with other people. Okay. Because you know, you usually come across as just calm, cool, collected when people don't know that there's a hurricane going on within you. I mean, you literally know how to pull it off. I've seen it all the time. I see it all the time. Okay. And here with the queen of cups is telling you be vulnerable with yourself. Okay. Because you don't want to push away uh, a negative emotion when it needs to be resolved. Okay. So I do sense that also there's going to be some kind of energy where if you do do this, you're going to attract the right person because look what's coming towards you. This is your outcome energy, the Knight of cups. There's going to be some kind of romantic union with somebody. You're going to meet somebody that captivates you. It's the charmer, the one that's, you know, wants to get to know you. They want to sweep you off your feet. They know exactly what to say. They know exactly what to do. They know exactly what you want, right? I don't see this person as manipulative. I see this as genuine. Okay. But you do have to start opening your heart. Okay. You're going to intuitively know who this person is, or maybe you already do. So let's go ahead and start clarifying what this high priestess is for you you have here the hangman reverse okay the knight of swords reverse and the seven of uh, wands reverse as well as the ten of pentacles reverse yeah so there is some kind of energy here about the ten of pentacles reverse there is a connection a situation a job situation wh whether it's you know family members friends whatever this is or whoever this is concerning i'm picking up strongly that for you 
you have to be intuitive as far as why something is not working financially okay in a connection or in a relationship it could also be why there is a lack of stability why there is no foundation okay there is a lack of foundation of um i see that there is an emotional connection but i don't see that it can work for long-term meaning it's not sustainable there's something here that you're doing um and for the meantime, it's kind of, it looks like it's working, but it's not going to be sustainable, okay, for long term. There are some changes that you need to start implementing into whatever connection this is. Now, I also see here the hangman uh, reverse, okay, and the also the knight of swords reverse and the seven of wands reverse. So what I'm getting from this is the fact that you need to start confronting a situation, okay, for what it is. There's something here about communicating directly with a person, with a place, a thing, a situation. And here with the hangman you've been avoiding making these changes you've been avoiding making these sacrifices that you know you need to make this is a time a moment right now for you to start making the sacrifices that maybe you've been putting off with they have to do with you setting ground rules they have to do with you not allowing something or someone to step all over you because with the seven of wands reverse it's not about fighting it's just about you saying no when you mean no because i see here that there's a lack of you doing that whether this person is taking away from you financially or you feel like they're just kind of draining your energy in some kind of way and you're losing stability it's affecting your work it's affecting how you make money it's affecting your area of abundance okay a lot of times people don't understand that people negative people in your life can affect different other areas of your life let's say for example if you are living in an environment that is toxic that is draining every time you get home they've got something to nag about you know they give you a headache even though you come home you know from a job where you already have one that can take away from the energy you know of you creating more abundance you're not able to create more abundance because you are constantly surrounded by that energy that's just the kind of you know um the kind of energy that i'm picking up on for you now let's go ahead and see what this outcome energy is because i see a brand new opportunity with this knight of cups what is this knight of cups this is your outcome energy. You have here the Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords Reverse, and the King of Pentacles Reverse, as well as the Empress Brand New Beginning. Look at that. Okay, this is you birthing something into more. This is you planting that seed, watering it, being grateful, okay, that it's already growing, even though maybe right now it's not, but just you being in that energy of gratitude, you will start seeing whatever this is start growing into more, okay? This is also being nurturing, not only nurturing to other people, but also being nurturing to yourself. Could be that you want a baby, okay? This is also birthing, you know, a, a brand new child, okay, a, a child into the world. It could also be birthing an idea into a business, something here that is getting started. You are birthing something that is nothing you know, into something more. Now, I also see here that this person is going to help you do that. Whoever this person is coming in for you, the Knight of Cups could be male, female, doesn't have to be just a male. I feel very strongly that this individual is going to help you birth something, whether it's an idea, whether it's going to help you connect to a new job, whether it's, you know, a, a romantic person, something of that matter. But you're going to have to use your mind, okay? This is all about the Queen of Swords. You've learned a lot of lessons. Try not to go into this situation only with your heart because a lot of times when you do that, you are such a caring person. You are such a loving person. You, like you can take care of if i had somebody to take care of me i would choose because you guys are the best at doing that okay you guys know how to take care of people so well because you're just so intuitive so this is all about you know you taking care of yourself first but also with this queen of swords you have to go into this new connection with your mind not with your heart okay meaning based on what you've learned, based on what you know, okay, you have to start going into this through uh, with your experience, okay? This is also about being very direct. When you want to say no, you say no. Okay, when you say yes, it's because you mean yes, that sort of thing. Um, don't let this person with charms, okay, they're going to be very charming, um, let you forget about your experiences. You know, what I mean by that is, what you've learned, your lessons, okay? Now the four of, uh, excuse me, the swords reverse. I'm also getting very strongly with these two, okay? That 
you've been taking time off to learn, to grow, et cetera, et cetera, it's time for you to take action, to put yourself out there. It's time for you to start meeting people, start meeting new people, because I feel like the person or the situation that you are in right now is not giving you what you want. It, it's actually taken away from you. The King of Pentacles reverse, okay? It's almost as if you and this person, you and the situation are not seeing eye to eye. You're just not agreeing on, on certain things. And I do feel like they're kind of draining your energy so much so that you're starting to act like them. You don't want to be that person. It's kind of like when, you know, you see in movies, mm, the girl and the guy, they get married. And then, you know, the girl... Um, starts telling the guy, gosh, you are just like your father or, you know, vice versa. They're like, God, you are just like your mother, right? It's kind of like that situation when you're around that energy for so long, you start becoming them if you are not strong enough, okay? If your energy is not grounded. So first make sure that your energy is planted. It's planted and it's grounded, okay? Uh, and that's how you will know if it's your energy that you're picking up on or if it's theirs that you're that's gravitating to you, okay? It's very important for you to know the difference and to realize the distinction between the two. Now go ahead and ask a yes or no question and you're gonna be getting a yes or no answer. All right, you have here the judgment reversed. So there's nothing in the past that benefits you. If you've been thinking about reconcil reconciling with somebody, reconciliation, it's telling you not now, okay? Uh, it's also telling you and alerting you it's a no. It's a no. You're not hearing the call to change. Start intuitively picking up on signs, red flags, signals, synchronicities, using your intuition so that you can hear the higher calling, okay? You're getting some kind of message. There's an energy coming in that you will pick up on if you are open intuitively to this energy, okay? That is guiding you into whatever changes you need to make, okay? But this is telling you if you expected a reconciliation, it says no reconciliation for you. Of course, you could have asked whatever else and it's a no uh, for whatever else you asked. Now let's go ahead and see what this dice has for you. You have here the sign of Virgo and the number five. Changes, changes, changes. It's all about changes, okay? So it's time for you to, again, implement these changes, uh, create changes in your life, open up new doors that you haven't opened before, step outside of your comfort zone. It's all about changes. This is also reminding you, uh, reminding you that if you haven't done something nice for yourself, such as, you know, doing something that you enjoy, doing something that, uh, where you can be creative, where you can be playful, you know, start doing that. Okay. Your responsibilities will always be there. They're always going to be there. They're not going anywhere. It's time for you to start investing in you, devoting more time to pleasurable things, being around pleasurable people, being around children even, okay? If you like children, they always bring out that energy of youthfulness, right, within you. It's always interesting to watch them communicate with, with, with adults because they're so, they're so pure, right? They're so pure and everything that they say, it's with no filter and everything that they do is just kind of like it comes from pure positive God source energy. It's it, so it's, it's something here that you might want to consider being around youthful energy, something new that might captivate your interest as well. Now here with the sign of Virgo, this is all about focusing on your day-to-day -day habits, your day-to-day to-do -day to list, okay? Getting those things done, those little things that you've been, you know, keeping in the back burner. Oh, I'll get that done uh, next month. I'll get that done tomorrow. I'll get that done the next week. You need to start knuckling down and getting these little things done because when momentum starts to pick up in your life, you're not going to have time to get them done. So it's time for you to start ignoring those little details and start paying attention to them. Start creating new, healthier habits in your life, okay? Uh, also, this has to do with your day-to-day -day work. It could also be your day-to-day -day work when you go into the office, when whatever it is, you know, your day-to-day -day work. You have to start focusing on how to create positive changes in your day-to-day -day habits overall energy. Now let's go ahead and see what your angel message is. What is your angel message? 
your guidance and angel message. The number three, it's my favorite number. So here with the number three, you have, I am charismatic. Of course you are. Expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through con conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. So I'm charismatic. If you've been thinking about starting something new, maybe a new project, a new business, or it could be anything. Maybe you want to um, communicate an idea to your family. You know, you have an idea to do something new. Use your charisma to your advantage. Okay. They will say yes, but you have to be charismatic about it. Okay. Use it so that you can get what you want. Okay. Get, get it started because remember you're birthing some something new into being. All right. This is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in watching the extended reading, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below.